Okay, hello and welcome to a video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. I'm a UK reseller, UK antiques dealer. I buy, sell, collectibles, antiques, weird and wonderful, and hope to flip it for a profit. You won't find me on eBay. I'm on my own website, antiquesarena.com. So go check it out. You may be something there you, you maybe you maybe you may like. Anyway, purpose of today's video is to share with you some of my recent car boot sale finds. And if I had a um couple of lovely things and they're interesting so hopefully um you know you'll enjoy having a little look at them so shall we get started and have a look at this mini haul so i'm going to start off with a i can only describe it as a bit of scrap art but i, I don't think it's made from scrap um more scrap art's made from nuts and bolts and things it's a me heavy metal sculpture of a bird and it's very sort of thunderbirdy looking. Metal Arts by Stuart Barker. Now I have looked, I haven't been able to find anything on him or anything by him. Um, so I've just judged it on its decorative and artistic merits. So it's a big piece, and as I say, quite a heavy thing. I'll tell you the size now. No. Uh, it's eight and a half inches tall with a wingspan of nine and a half inches. Um, I've put it up for £45. I wouldn't want to make that for £45. Um, as art, it's quite a good looking thing. It looks a lot better in reality than it does on my photographs. i got to be sad to say, but um, it came in this week for £4. So I'm very pleased. Um I could be wrong on the price. I'm only guessing because, as I say, I can't find anything on him. I can't find anything by him. So I've just plucked a figure out of the air that I think will be, you know, a fair price. Then I had this. This was still in its original plastic wrapper. It's probably 1990s, something like that. Now, they've been doing this pattern since uh, I think it's 66 or something like that. Royal Albert, All Country Roses. Now, this is a tea cosy. The All Country Roses is probably one of the most popular patterns produced by Royal Albert. But this tea cosy, look at that, hasn't been used. It is new old stock. And as I say, it was still wrapped up in the bag. The original price on there was still there, £45 someone paid for this tea cosy. And then never used it, just left her in the plastic to sit there looking pretty. Cost me two pound. It's up for twenty pound, and that's a competitive price. Used ones that are stained and discoloured inside are getting twenty pound. So that should fly out. To be totally honest with you, uh, for the twenty pounds. Then we had this. I bought it. I got to be honest with you. I hoped it would glow in the dark. It's a really nice depression glass cake stand in a green glass with a moulded pattern. Um, but as I say, I was hoping to put it under black light. Anybody who doesn't know what I mean by glow in the dark, uranium glass, when you put it under ultraviolet light or black light, will change colour and go luminous and glow. And it has a major premium and saleability to them. But still, a really decorative and attractive um, Depression Era glass cake stand in green. Now, I did pay a fiver for it, and it's up to £35. No damage, no chips. If it had damage, I probably would have left it there. And if it had been uranium, I'd have probably been closer to 75 or 85 pounds. That's the difference. Then I had this nice, um, I'm going to put it down as trench art because it is from a shell. Um, it's a jug or a vase with a handle. I presume it's a jug, um, but it is from a shell. And I've got to make an offer option on my site now. And to be honest with you, I've put it up for £40, but I'm expecting an offer of close to 25 to 30 for this type of product. Um, but we'll see where it goes. But a nice thing, I paid a tenner for it. The dealer is a friend. He wasn't going to ask that much, but uh, I comfortably paid a tenner for it. And very happy with that. It's a six-inch tall shell vase or jug. This was gorgeous. And again, come in, I think it was four pounds or five pounds. I think 
yeah, it was either four or five pounds. I'd have to check my book in the car. Uh, but it is an Italian freestanding onyx uh, crucifix with a brass Jesus on the front. So it's an uh, onyx and bronze Catholic crucifix freestanding. Um, it's probably got some age as well. I would assume it's probably 30 or 40 years on this. Just a really nice thing. I have looked at prices. Some people are asking like 140, 150 quid for this type of thing. Um, I do get all my prices off. So other similar souls or people ask in prices and then I tend to be extremely competitive if I can. Now, we didn't come in for much. I say maximum was a fiver. It's up for 65, but that's based on where others have sold them at or the crazy prices they're asking. And it is seven inches tall. Just a really good looking um, crucifix. This, I'm almost ashamed of myself. Um, it's an Irish Waterford crystal. Uh, so it's not the Marquis. It's the Irish Waterford crystal before they left Ireland. Because I think it's produced um, Singapore or something like that now. I'm not 100% where it is, but it's overseas anyway. Uh, this is the Irish one produced still where it was produced in Ireland. It's only it'll only take a photograph of three inches by two inches. I think it's five by six inches in the frame. Five by four inches, sorry, in the frame. Now the gentleman wanted 50 pence and I had 42 pence in change or 20 pound note. And he took the 42 pence in change because I didn't he didn't want to change a 20 pound note and I didn't want anything else. That's what I wanted. So I had it for 42 pence. But if I see him again, I'll probably give him some more. Uh, but 42p for a Waterford crystal picture frame. Yeah. This one shocked me. Now, there's a new car boot sale started up in Morrison's. And they, they're going right through the country. Morrison's are dotting them out all over the place at the moment. And what we have here is a, in the year 2000, so it's a 23-year-old Barbie Ferrari car still sealed in his box, never been out of his box, unopened. Mattel Barbie doll mini car Ferrari. It's the F355 GTS. Yeah. Now, this one, as I said, it's got some weight of the box, but it's never been out of the box. I didn't even take it out of the box to photograph it. It's still sealed in the box. Now, I saw it on the car boot sale and I thought, you know what? They wanted 20 quid for it. Actually, they wanted 25 pound for it, sorry. Uh, house clearance gentleman. And I, I thought to myself, do you know what? Gracie'd like that. I'd give him 20 quid for Gracie Bell. So I give him 20 quid. I offered him 20 quid. They took it. Then I'm sat in the car and I start looking at this. 535 pound, 535 pound, 397 pound, uh, 535 again. They're different ones. They are their remote control ones. Uh, 149 pounds. So mine went in at 150 pounds. See how competitive I am? Other people are asking fives and fours. I'm going at 150. They only paid 20 quid for it, and it has never been out of his box. Unfortunately, Gracie Bell didn't end up with this one. But uh, believe me, she don't go without. She has a lot off me. But yeah. Barbie car. Now, one of the toy dealers was at the boot sale with me, and I said to him, I showed him the phone after I noticed. I said, what the hell did, is, am I missing here? And he had a shock of his life because they were all walking past it. But, yeah, 20 quid. Whether it'll sell or not at 150, I don't know. If it doesn't, it'll end up going to Gracie Bell. Final one in today's video is a 1950s child metatype typewriter. Now, this is a tin plate typewriter, but it is a working model. It actually, you can type with it. How crazy is that? There you go. And it's in lovely condition. Yeah, you do all your numbers up on the disc there, and then you press that down. You don't type along the keyboard down here. So I wouldn't want to spend weeks there doing a letter, but oh my God. But yeah, it works. Still got the ribbon and it's in lovely condition. I give a tenner for it and it's up for 30 quid. I have got the box with it. It's wrapped in the box, but the box is seriously worn and tardy, so I didn't even photograph it. 
So, but I have got the box to go with it. So, I don't know what you think. A couple of um, little collectibles and things there. I don't think there was any antiques in there. Uh, off the top of my head, no. Um, but it was some nice collectibles. And a couple of shocks were obviously the Barbie Mattel car and the Waterford picture frame of 42p. I didn't have it any more. I only had £20 notes. That's all the cash point had given me was £20 notes. It was one of them days. And I, I take not only £50, £100 of pound coins with me. And it just happened to be one of them days where all my change went. Um, I was buying stuff for five, six, seven pound and people couldn't change a 10 or a 20. It just took all my change. And it came to the end. And this was like 10 o'clock. I was 10 in the morning. Dealers had all been through it. And I picked up a frame out match 50p. And I didn't have 50p to give him my 42p. So, yeah. A little embarrassed with that one, but uh, beautiful thing. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.